Hi, this is Aaron with Flamingos in Wonderland, and today we're going to be staying at Disney's Bay Lake Tower, which is the building uh, just next to Contemporary. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about their rooms. We're going to walk through the room. We're going to tell you any tips or tricks that we have. All of this so that you know what you can expect if you decide to stay at Disney's Bay Lake Tower. All that coming right up. So as always, this is a room tour of what you can expect if you stay at Disney's Bay Lake Tower. This is a theme park room view, but it's basically what you'll get irregardless of what your view is. As always, I will uh, pass it over to uh, Aaron from the past, who will tell you about the room and what's in the room. And then do keep uh, tuned in because we will come back and talk about anything that we learned uh, after the room tour. The room tours are always done on the first night of, uh, of, of staying there. Also, I do want to say, I know you want to get to the room and we'll get there shortly. Uh, I do want to say that this is a fairly new Disney channel and Disney is always a hard market to get into. So if you really did like this video, please like and subscribe and please share it with people in your friends group if you're considering going to this, uh, to this resort. Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo. And today we're in Disney's Bay Lake Tower in the Contemporary Resort. Now we're gonna give you a room tour. This is a Disney Vacation Club Resort. And I'll show you where we are. This is a theme park view which is lovely. You can see our uh, dot right here, that's where we are. And that's what the resort looks like. Pretty spacious. Give you a view over this way. You can see there are adjoining rooms. However, we're not using those. So we're storing some luggage in that spot. On our left, we have the washrooms. So let me show you that pretty well directly towards the uh, toilet and the shower. Pretty uh, tall shower. I'm uh, six foot four, so I think I'll be a little close to that uh, shower head. And then down here you can see they have the older plastic Disney uh, soaps and so forth. And then over here you have a little tiny sink. <clears throat> One of the smaller sinks that I've seen here at Disney, but uh, functional. And then below here, you do have extra toiletries and your uh, hairdryer, should you need it. Continuing on, we have the air conditioner. We have this little area, which is <clears throat> basically your little pantry where you can make food and so forth. A bit of a closer look. Up here you've got uh, still the paper disposable uh, stuff. You used to have uh, China stuff. <clears throat> Ice bucket, microwave, and a toaster, as well as a Mr. Coffee coffee pot, a sink and some soap. And then down here you have some uh, hand sanitizer a fire extinguisher, and a rubbish bin. Here you also have <clears throat> paper towels. Empty. And then cutlery, as well as the Joffrey's 50th anniversary coffee pods. So we'll definitely have to try that soon. You also have a uh, can opener, wine uh, opener, and bottle opener, plastic cutlery, and everything you need for your coffee, as well as the uh, artisan roasted coffee in the rooms also. <clears throat> they have this nice little inlay pattern, which uh, is quite nice. And then there's also this little extra area over here with an outlet for charging and a bunch of extra storage down below. So, continuing on, as you might expect, we have a closet. So you have the extra pillow and blanket, that's for the pull-out sofa. Whole bunch of uh, hangers. You have your ironing board, iron, and you have a nice safe down here. Pretty good size safe. And it uh, does not come with our luggage. 
That's uh, just where we're storing it for now. Yeah, continuing on into the room. Now it is nighttime here, so I'll show you the nighttime view shortly. But this is the room. Uh, they don't give you room service every day, and this is DVC, so. <clears throat> now, over here we have the television. There's a bit of an open space here for more storage. We have drawers. And this is where they put the uh, Gideon's Bible. And then there's two more drawers to pull out. Pretty big. As well as outlets on the right. There's your TV. Below the TV, you have a uh, DVD player and a little AV breakout box. And then another little place we stash some of our luggage. Got a nice little coffee table here. Curtain. This is your pullout. And your bed. On your nightstands, you do have an outlet down there. Not sure if you can see it. And then a side table. And then on this side, there's a side table, nightstand, and below that is also power. Nice little artwork touches, which is uh, Mickey themed, which is nice. <coughs> a few more little artwork touches. And I'll show you the room back. As well as this nice little desk you've got here. And looking back here, this is the room. Pretty big room. I'll show you outside quickly. At least the uh, night view that we have. Again, this is a theme park view room. I'll uh, cut in some footage from when it's not nighttime. <laughs> but uh, here's the view. Here's the contemporary over there. And the Magic Kingdom. And then out here you've got a uh, nice, pretty big seating area. So you can watch the fireworks. And uh, this is going to be our room for the next couple of days. I'll show you the room inside once more. So here's the room. I will pass it to Aaron from the future to tell you anything that we find out while we stay in it and any tips and tricks about these rooms. Thanks. So just a few notes that we had uh, after staying in this room. Uh, before I get there though, you've watched this far into the video, you're at about six minutes or eight minutes. So uh, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and share it. We are again, a very small channel. One of the nice things that I really liked about this was the fridge. The fridge uh, was very cold. Usually in the Disney rooms, uh, the fridges are, you know, <laughs> lukewarm at best. Uh, but these, this was a really good fridge. And uh, if you turned it all the way up, you could freeze food. I think Linda froze a uh, bell pepper. So <laughs> very good fridge. The elevators in the resort are very busy. So that was a little annoying. You might want to find out where the emergency stairs are because it might be quicker. The kitchenette was a great place for warming up food or bottles if you have kids. Highly suggest this type of a room uh, if you have a family and you need those types of amenities because you don't get things like the microwave and the toaster in most of the other Disney rooms. There is no restaurant in Bay Lake Tower, so you always need to go to the Contemporary. That said, there is a covered walkway, which is really nice, and there is a small bar and grill at the pool, and so you can get food there if you'd like and you don't want to go all the way over to Contemporary. But it is a bit of a trek, so every time you're basically going in and out of contemporary all the time. That said, this resort is closer to the Magic Kingdom than any other resort. And so we really like the fact that you could stay here and almost directly walk to the Magic Kingdom in like seven minutes. So really good. Uh, if, if you're there for something in the Magic Kingdom, this is the resort to choose. Overall, I think the rooms were getting to the point where they needed a bit of a refresh. There were some chipped, you know, you can kind of see it in the video. There's some chipped and banged up areas, 
but overall it wasn't bad like it, it wasn't outdated the tv could have been bigger they got the new bigger tvs uh, the samsung tvs in most of the rooms these days but it wasn't overall that bad space was really good as was the storage so you could put everything that you've your family's brought and find a place for it without having it sort of sitting all over the place so that is our thoughts on disney's bay lake tower uh, we hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much and happy travel